Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video, I want to talk about everything that Angela King was saying and I guess some stuff that the actors were saying and just all the news that was reported out for The Walking Dead. But really quick, I am going to be posting my Q&A today, but I have no questions. I have a couple from some past videos, but they're all kind of unrelated because the mid-season finale wasn't out yet and all that. So post all of your questions down below. I'll wait for like an hour, hour or two or something like that. I'll take about 10 or 15 questions, work on that, and I'll try to have that out later on tonight. So yeah, thank you guys in advance for that. The questions could be anything surrounding the mid-season finale, stuff about the second half of the season and etc. But before we jump in, I do have to warn you obviously for spoilers for the mid-season finale, so I hope you guys are aware of that. And also make sure to hit subscribe if you want more Walking Dead content like this. I'm going to be posting daily content for the most part. Not all of it is going to be Walking Dead related. Most of it should be Walking Dead related, but I do want to do Mandalorian. Like, I'm actually really, really enjoying Mandalorian. The only other show this year besides Walking Dead and Mandalorian that I enjoyed this much, I would say, was Game of Thrones. I guess early on in the season, the excitement for it, and then obviously, it was a pretty big disappointment. But let's talk about The Walking Dead Season 10. They actually just finished filming, which is, of course, a very exciting time of the year because that means the entire season is done. They usually always end filming around this time of year. It's usually right before Thanksgiving for the U.S and all that. So that means everything is done now. So whether or not the Commonwealth are going to be introduced, which I'm pretty sure they're going to be, that's already filmed. Alpha's death, if that's going to happen, that's already filmed. Michonne's final, or I guess Michonne's final episode was already filmed like months ago, but that's done. Maggie's return, all that. The princess, like her outfit, that pink feathery like jacket that she has. If she's going to be wearing that outfit or not, which she should be because it's the princess. That's a huge part to that character. That's likely already filmed already. And yeah, I can't wait. I'm excited about this because now they're just editing everything. They're putting everything together. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about too is with the second half because I've been seeing a lot of complaints about the mid-season finale about it being very, very underwhelming and disappointing. I agree with the underwhelming part. With the disappointing thing, I don't know if I... I don't agree with that yet because certain stories didn't pay off yet. And if it did pay off in a mid-season finale and it wasn't something that I was a fan of, then maybe, yeah, I'd be disappointed. As of now, I'm just kind of underwhelmed. Not really anymore because I'm so excited for the second half, but looking back at episode eight, yeah, I, I think they could have added a little bit more there, but what do I know? We'll see what Angela Kang has planned for the second half. Because she did say with EW, and I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out the full article, but she says that, that season 10B is going to escalate very, very fast. Which, of course, is something that I'm very, very excited to hear. I'm very, very excited to hear that this season's going to start picking up because this the first half, as much as I like certain parts of it, it was, I mean, obviously I wouldn't say filler. It was Like, none of it was filler that I can think of. I shouldn't say none of it was filler. Some of it could have been filler, but I don't think any of it was. It just hasn't been a season so far of, like, epic reveals and all of that. The Sadiq and Dante thing was a lot of fun. Negan and Beta, that was a lot of fun. And there are certain other aspects to the season that have been a lot of fun, but... I do think that's kind of the point of this first half, if you think about it. Like, season nine, second half, that was the build to the Whisperers, who are they discovering them, and all this tension, and that built up to the Whisperer Pike scene, and all of that, and then the finale was kind of your relaxing episode, enjoying the season, enjoying the winter, and all of that, you know, and then season 10, you do have to come down a little bit, you can't stay that high, right, after the, the height and the incredible excitement that the Whisperer Pikes was, it's like, we definitely have to come down from that if we were going to set up anything exciting for this season, and this first half, I think, paid that off really brilliantly. The second half of this season, I definitely want more payoff, and I guess because the first half was... I'm not going to say underwhelming, but there wasn't as much payoff and there wasn't as much exciting moments. There is a lot more pressure on the second half now to deliver, which if it can deliver right, obviously it's going to be very, very exciting. I mean, think about it. One, they're going to have to deal with the cliffhanger for the mid-season finale with, with all of our characters in the cave. That's going to be really exciting. How do they get out of there? I know for a fact that someone's going to die there. I just, I mean, I, well, I, I feel like someone's going to die there. Someone has to die there, right? There's no way all those characters are getting out of that cave. I feel like someone's going to get out, and I think it's either going to be Jerry, Ma or I guess not Magna, but Jerry, Kelly, or Connie. It's going to be one of those three characters. We'll see who it ends up being, but probably one of those three. The Whisperer War has officially begun. That's kind of what the mid-season finale represented. Our characters crossed the border. Dante also was within Alexandria. Like Alpha hasn't been playing by the rules. So all of our characters now, it's war. There's no way they're going to meet up again and say, well, you know what? We screwed up here. It was our fault. And you guys also did that too. We're just going to apologize and we'll just keep living on this way. Like, no. Michonne and them, like, they don't even want to live this way. And Alpha also does not want to live this way. Alpha is trying to kill them. So the Whisper War, yeah, that's officially begun. That's going to be exciting because our characters are actually going to go out and try and fight them now. The Whispers are going to be attacking the hilltop. We should see the hilltop burn down. That's a very exciting moment from the comic. And I'll talk about that in a video later on this week. Michonne's final episode, obviously, that's going to be a big episode. And also, whether or not there's going to be any Rick survival revelation, which I hope there is. I think every Everyone is hoping there is. 
if there isn't, it really depends on what Angela King has planned. I definitely will go into that episode expecting something else, but really, really hoping for the Rick Grimes survival revelation or whatever to our characters. Because if you think about it, what proof do we really have that Michonne's final episode is going to be anything Rick related, right? There are a few things, and they're basically just assumptions of some stuff. Like, for one, it was reported that Denai Guerrera could be in the Rick movies, and now they're kind of ignoring that, but I feel like that's still a part of the, of the plan. I feel like she's going to end in a way where she could be in the Rick movies, and also, she's not going to leave her kids, too. That's the thing. Like, she's just not going to leave her kids. Are they going to kill Michonne off before revealing to her that Rick's alive? Probably not, in my opinion. So yeah, there's all of that excitement. And also, Alpha and Beta's deaths, that's going to be a really big moment. I don't see Alpha dying probably until episode 13 or 14 just because Michonne's final episode as as of now is rumored to be episode 12. Alpha's probably going to die in like 13 or 14 around there. Beta will die at some point afterwards, maybe in 15 or something like that, or in 16, of course. And then in 15 and 16, or they could do it in 14, there's going to be the whole Whisper Horde. All those hundreds and thousands of walkers are going to attack Alexandria. So that's going to be around episode 15 or something like that. And there's, of course, the Commonwealth. Their introduction, how much are they going to be a part of this season? There's the Princess, and then there's Maggie's Return. They gotta fit all of those things into eight episodes. Actually, think about it. The cliffhanger's one. The Whisperer War starting, that's two. Michonne's final episode, that's three. Alpha and Beta, four. Whisper Horde, five. Commonwealth, six. Princess and, and Magicus, that's seven. You can include both of those together. They could be separate, and if it's separate, that's eight things. That's eight exciting things that could be in eight separate episodes. Obviously, some of them are overlapping. But when Angela King says that the second half of the season is going to escalate very, very fast, she's not kidding. Like, it's definitely going to. So if you're feeling like the season so far has been very, very slow, I, I think it's going to get better, and I'm hoping it's not too fast. But it shouldn't be. Usually The Walking Dead is never too fast. Because the actor who plays Father Gabriel actually said on Talking Dead that the first half of the season was set up and the second half is all payoff. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that method of storytelling actually works. How do I see the second half playing out? I mean, I see the first episode being or dealing with the cave stuff and dealing with the Whisperers attacking Alexandria and maybe a death. I think it'll be a very simple episode. It'll be action-packed, but nothing crazy happening besides the whole cave thing and all of that. The episode after that, I think we'll see Negan again with Beta. Beta might attack Alexandria and all of that. Episode 11, it might play it around there. Some stuff with the Whisper War will happen around that point, like the, the burning of Hilltop. Episode 12 will be Michonne's final episode. Around episode 13 or 14, there will still be some more Whisperer stuff, but that's where Alpha's gonna die. I think Negan will probably kill Alpha. It'll happen around that point. And then we get into 14, 15. There's the Whisper Horde attacking Alexandria. And then, yeah, Beta's death. He'll probably die around that point. And then 16 is the final episode. Everyone's rebuilding. And then Maggie returns. We see the princess. And then the Commonwealth just kind of fits somewhere around there. I don't see Alpha dying before Michonne leaves. I just don't see it happening that way. Just because it's a little too early for Alpha to die, I feel like. Like, just for her to die in a couple episodes from now, I think they need to build to it a little bit more. I think she's going to die around, I don't even know, like I said, 13 or 14. 13 could happen, but that's the episode after Michonne leaves, so that's, I find it a little weird, but it depends on where the story is, right? It could happen in 14 as well. So that's why I'm leaning towards 14 a little bit. It's like 13, 14, around there anyways. But yeah, I'm super, super excited. I'm really excited to see what happens in the second half of the season. 2020 is going to be a very, very big year for The Walking Dead. I would say 2018 what has been the most exciting year in a very, very long time. 2019, this year has been, I mean, there hasn't really been anything too exciting happening. If you think about it, everything's kind of been... Season 9, second half, obviously, that was really exciting. All of that build to the Whisper of Pikes, and when that moment happened, that was just crazy. And obviously, that was a really big moment. But this year was kind of a year of announcements. Nothing really came out for the most part. Like, they announced the third show, Fear the Walking Dead Season 5, I wasn't that big of a fan of. Season 10A, there wasn't anything too crazy happening. But 2020, obviously, a lot of crazy stuff is happening. Season 10, second half is going to be nuts. That that third show's coming out, I'm hoping it's really, really good. And then Fear Season 6, I don't really know how I feel about that, but we'll see. There definitely will be some Rick Grimes movie news. There just has to be some news on that, because there's been nothing coming out this year. They had that little teaser at Comic-Con that confirmed that it's coming to theaters. But besides that, you know, Gimple has said a couple things, but nothing has changed since November of last year. Literally since a year ago, nothing has really changed. And then, of course, we have the, the first half of Season 11 of The Walking Dead, where we meet the Commonwealth for the first time, so... Yeah, a lot of exciting things coming to The Walking Dead in 2020. I'm super hyped. That is kind of what they're building like 2020 and going forward to be, though. It's like the decade of the dead. 
and it's going to be this whole thing with all their universes connected and everything. So I guess this year was meant to be the way it was, and I guess next year is supposed to be really, really nuts, and yeah, I guess I'm looking forward to it. But let me know down below what you guys all think. What are your predictions for the second half of the season? How do you think it's going to play out? Like, of all the storylines that still need to be wrapped up, how do you think it's going to play out? Like, what's the story flow for the rest of the, or I guess the last eight episodes? Post your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.